rubbish talk. Welcome to rubbish talk. Now lads, there is a housing estate going into the Drummond Road. It's a lovely field that'll be taken away for that to be put in there. A 30 acre field with 246 dwellings going into it. What's your lads? It won't be done until 2021. What, 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 what are we going to do then? <gasps> What's next? We go down here with the headness. They like something's going to be done. But sure, it's all uh, they're already putting in 1.5 million into it. And now we're done till 2021. Huh? What? What, what are we talking about? What? 30 apartments, 2 crashes, 2 retail units. Lads, for the love and honor into a 30 acre field. 30 acres, lads. And uh, what, 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 what are we going to do then, huh? Who's going to live in it? Huh? Sure, sure, sure. Think, think, think about that now, lads. All the people, all the people that are homeless. All the people like that. Sure, they, they, won't, be able to put, they won't be able to put them in those houses. Our lads won't put them into those houses. No, 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 no. They're going to be for. They're going to be for people who can behave for those houses, lads. Huh? Huh? Wonder of God. What are we going to do, lads? They're already doing the do do doing the 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 the, the, the ground excavation out there. The ground is being excavated. And we're still four or five years away, lads. Four or five years. And not only that, not only that, lads. But out, out. Out near Joy's. Now, Joy's was, Joy's, mother of God, lads, Joy's was the, was Nina's crescent back in the day. It was the first of its kind and was the last of, of its kind in Nina. But now there's something going in there, lads. There's something going in there. Apparently, apparently some lad bought it a while back and now he's demolished the entire inside of it. Fair fix for him now because according to the people I, I, I know who walked in there it's turned, to, it's turned to shite in there but he's taken the whole thing apart and now now he's knocked out the front shops and now he's trying to, now he's taken down the sign. He's going to take down the sign next. Right. Sign, sign is going lads. Sign is going. Sure after that what, what, what are we going to do then lads? Huh? Well, what, what's next after that? Well, what's next after that, lads, is he's going to hire a bunch of local lads to build him a shopping centre. Lads, a shopping centre in Nana. Mother of God. What's the world coming to? Huh? Sure, sure, that, 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 that takes most of the business out of the Crescent. Huh? Limerick won't have no people from Nina going into it after a while. Everything will be in bloody Nina. Everything we need. There's supposed to be a Pennies going in there. We have a Tesco. We have Aldi. We have Lidl. Lidl is supposed to be moving up a bit. Then you have... You have the, 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 the Woodies. The Woodies is up, is up by Duns. And you have Duns. Jesus, lad, there'll be no reason to go into, go into Limerick by the end of the day. The only, thing, the only reason we'll be going into Limerick is for work. And even that might be a bit of a problem, lads, after a while, because the work will be gone. Yeah, the work will the work will be gone because they have to fill all these shops, lads. They fill all the shops, they do. All the working lads have to get, dra have to get drafted into the, into the shops to get their CVs in. And sure, all the, all the lads will be doing the work experience. Mother of God, lads, we have a lot of stuff going in there. Now, according to the council, the planning permission has had to be extended for the for the uh, 
for the for for the housing estate, lads. For the housing estate, the the, the plan had to be extended until the thirty first of December, twenty twenty one. Huh? Show us not the time that they were supposed to be done. The thirty first of December. So that's sure you may as well if it can go on to the twenty twenty two day. Mother of God. So what's the world coming to? We, 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 what, what, what do we do after that, huh? What are we going to be doing after that? We're going to, we're going to house a bunch of people in there. And so we'll see, we'll see them. We'll see it after 2021 what happens. But we'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep an eye on it. Now the lad who's building it. I, I, I'm just reading something here, lads, to make sure I have my information correct. Uh, now, the planning permission expired last April. And that's why they're getting it extended. It took them last April, lads. That was 2016. 2016, lads. Even worse, it could be th- th- if it's this year, then it, fin- then it, then it was 2017. Jesus, lads, you have to get on to that fairly lively to do. <laughs> but anyway, lads, yeah. What else is there to talk about today? Sure, sure, we'll, we'll keep going, will we? We'll keep going, we'll take a look. The tree is outside the, the, the courthouse. That's right. Uh... Oh Jesus, there, there, there's, there's been a terrible thing. A terrible thing has happened. A total of five, 105 dogs, lads, have been put down in Tipperary. Put down. Killed. Killed them, so they did. Now, the way I see it, lads, is that no dog, no dog at all should, be a, should have to be put down like that. No dog should have to be needlessly killed because no, because some stupid human doesn't know how to take care of it. If that was the case, lads, if that was the case, then we should be doing it to ourselves, lads. We should be doing it to ourselves. If we can't take care of someone, then we should bring him to the doctor and have him humanely euthanized. That's right. There's an unpleasant thought for you, isn't it? If you guys don't look after someone, what happens? We'll fucking go off and have them killed. Yeah. Have them put to sleep. If you're... Uh, uh, all the orphans. All the homeless people who can't be looked after. If we drag them off the street and had them murdered. Put down. Let's put down. What'll you do? Huh? There'd be fucking uproar. Uproar over it. You know, and, and to make things worse... Just under 9,000 dog licenses were issued by the count. So people, people can adopt these dogs. They're just not doing it, lads. They're just not doing it. They're not looking after the dogs. Why did they get them in the first place then, lads? Huh? Why did they get the dogs in the first place if they're not going to look after them? I tell you, lads, if there was a human involved in that, if a human, if your child, if your child at, was taken away from you because you weren't looking after and instead of being given away to a new family a new family had 30 days to adopt that child or that child would be humanely euthanized murdered lad, murdered that's what he'd be lads but if that was the case lads what would you do? huh? you'd look after the child well why aren't you looking after the dogs? huh? What are we doing, lads? Huh? What are we doing? Mother of God. Now, a bit of more tragic news, but we covered this earlier on one of the videos, lads. Uh, it was the the fire in Long Charlie's. The uh, the man that one of the men died in it, one of them managed to escape. 
Now, lads, a lot of people are asking, like, what, what, were, what were they doing in there? Well, not many people can answer that question, lads. Only the lads that were in there. Now, to be quite honest with you, lads, I don't mind homeless people. To be quite honest, I don't mind them lads, I think they're sound out, I think they just had a bit of hard thing with the government. A lot of people are getting screwed over and all that. But when a man and another man have to go in to a li into, into an abandoned building at 1am and start a fire to keep warm, sure what do you think is going to happen lads? What do you think is going to happen? That building is a litany of fire hazards, lads. A litany of it, so it was. There was, there was carpets in there that were flammable. There was probably some feckin' spilt liquor. Who knows what the lads brought in with them. Sure, it was, it was all over the place, lads. Huh? Huh? What are we going to do about it? Sure, there's only one thing anyone in this world can do about it lads and it's quite simple and that is we have to do something about the homeless people now I, I, I think lads I think that people should be treated the way they want to treat animals how do I mean by that now lads right lads this is how it goes down if the person can't be cared for, if the person can't be looked after, and if the person is a burden on society like these homeless people are said to be because they were put there by the government and now they can't do fake all with them, well then lads, they should all be rounded up, rounded up lads, and treated like the animals. They should be put in shelters for 30 days. 30 days lads and if no one can find a home for any of these people then they should all be executed put down euthanized finished kaputted if you treat them like dogs and cats and animals then the world changes lads do you know that the world changes because if they had legislation out about it lads they treat animals like you treat humans, then you wouldn't, then they wouldn't be putting them down so fucking quickly, and you wouldn't be putting humans down so fucking quickly. No, you would be getting rid of that fairly fucking lively. You would be sorting out things like homes and dogs and cats and animals all the bloody time. Lads. You wouldn't be able to do anything about it. Now, we'll move on from that. Lads. We'll move on from that and see if there's see if there's anything here. Lads, lads, I, I, I'll say this now. There's nothing there. There's nothing. Oh, Lord. There's nothing to do now, lads. Now, I'll leave it there, lads. Goodbye. And always remember, you're nothing more than animals. And you can be easily euthanized if you're not careful.